Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Paradigm. So, I need to try something, which was actually suggested by a commenter, and that is to go to the lobby. I better take this off. Yeah, that's fine, dude. And use the cursed flowers with the um, screwdriver, and see if we make a tiny screwdriver. Thank God, magic does exist. Like a baby screwdriver now. Good job, commenter. Thank you for your help. All right, so let's go back to. That's not what I want. Let's go back to the da, 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 dungeon. Drop an a drop a skull in this apple's head. You get it? It's like an in a reverse of how things actually go in real life. All right, baby screwdriver. By destroying this performance art, do I become a part of the performance? Ooh, deep. Or is life just one big performance for interdimensional beings? We will never know. Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. <laughs> Did I just murder someone? <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief. I should have thought more about the consequences. Eh. I probably could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way, instead of risking manslaughter. Eh, who's gonna know? Yoink. Thanks for the nutritious soil. Can I take the floodlight now? Probably not. Then how will Applehead sit the sink? Yeah, alright. All right, so now we'll go back to the lobby, which I think means that we have everything we need. So we have to use this to be tiny. We come over here, and we use sorry, the Wu Tang Clan symbol on the soil caught my attention. Use that on that. I better talk to the rebel leader first, so I uh. actually have a plan. Last time I didn't have a plan, I woke up with a retail job. Ugh. Never again. Then guard the imbecilius. Alright. Alright, where was they? They were in the lab. Talk to this lady, see what we can figure out. I've got all the stuff to take down Olaf. Congratulations! Alright, so the master plan <clears throat> is... Uh... To be honest, I was just thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner. Hang on, the advisors tell me that they actually do have a plan. Alright. So, all you need to do is walk in there and plant the seeds. The advisors actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. They say that's probably the best place. <laughs> if they went in there already, uh, why don't they just do it? Look, something something destiny. You got to do it yourself. All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you take down Olaf. Dupa genetics goes into liquidation, and none of this taking over the world stuff happens. Baxt will throw a shindig, we'll all be happy. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Ooh. Shit, how good is cheese? Anyway, good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. First plan was an internet petition. They never work. And yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, God damn it! Time to never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I, I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. All right, so let's go back to the lobby. And try this one more time. Use. Make me tiny. Now we can use the thingamajigger on this doohickey. Those are the technical terms. 
I know it's a lot to keep in, keep in mind. And away we go! <clears throat> I don't have any control Better yet. Shrink, then guard the imbecilious. Party child. And I can't seem to do anything over here. I guess we're going this way. Thank you for completing the full version of Paradigm <laughs> the Game. We hope you had a great time and you had a lot of fun. If you would like to continue playing Paradigm DLC, we need more money. The Kickstarter was not enough. Please input your credit card number when the time prompts. Unlike the full version, the DLC is paid a point and click. Please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of $29.99. Otherwise, feel free to play our ad free to play version. All you need to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. Thank you very much, brother. Oh man, I don't have a credit card on me. However, what I do know is elaborate credit card antivirus games. All I need is a phone and a number. So, um, you actually can click this button 10,000 times if you want to. I've seen on online that, that it actually works. People have been talking to the creator about it, but I probably won't do that because, you know, it's going to take a while. So it takes me about 30 seconds to get 100, so we're not going to do that. Something is happening. Uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. No one is. Not even me. Well, I am actually, but I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be forced to awkwardly linger till you leave. Alright, one thing I'm going to do is I would like to s just save the game. On my own in the future, I may come back and press the button a bunch of times, depending on if I decide I really want to get that achievement. So, we're gonna just... Oh, God! What is that? Oh, that? <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. My power core excretes it from time to time. <laughs> it's a super strong solvent. I sometimes sell it online for a hefty sum. It's like soap for robots, but it comes out of my butt. I get that in my cup. Seems like that could be useful. You're just mashing things together now, uh, aren't you? I just figured it could be helpful. All right, let's look at the shoe. John three thousand told me back in Australia, people chug beer from shoes. It wasn't even a punishment; it was a rite of passage. And they say Crusher's tradition of bathing at Woodgar is weird. Can I take the shoe? Hopefully, some beer turns up. Get my chug on. What else we got in here? Computer panels. I think these are recording the Portage Child growth patterns. One of them is growing into a shark boy. Some people really take their street shark cartoons <laughs> too far. Sliding panel. Wrench is obviously something we want. It's glued to the floor. <laughs> I don't even. I guess it's payback for all those <clears throat> times I glued money to the floor at shopping centers and left. Can I do anything about that? Go away. Alright. I don't think we can probably do anything about that. Let's see. This is not a cute tiny screw. Eh, probably can't do anything about it. All right, what else we got? Maintenance hut. I'm glad to see that they bothered <coughs> to set up maintenance, even if it is a talking water heater with no way of repairing anything. Who's making these decisions? Can I actually, talk to the heater. 
Who are you? I am the keeper of the prodigy children. Originally a water heater, but that time is long gone. I now have wheels. Three inch rims, baby! Are you sentient water like the rest of the robots? Yes. Originally I was a water heater. It was a pretty good gig. There's nothing like making people hot and wet, and I was damn good at it. But then Dupa Genetics needed more workers. Too many work accidents, you know? Anyway, <coughs> it's not too bad being the keeper. I'm a pretty chill person. Funny, considering I'm a heater. Anyway, you should leave. Why does the shower get cold when someone flushes the toilet? My people have been searching for an answer to that question for many years, to no avail. We are yet to be able to operate internet searching systems. Do you have a kind of sibling rivalry with the water cooler? No, actually, we were quite good friends, but I heard that some monster drank him to death. The same guy convinced another comrade to commit suicide. Such a terrible world we live in. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Yeah. Anyway, you should leave. What is this place? It's basically where we grow and store all the prodigy children we have. What do you do here? Me? I tend to the broken equipment and general maintenance. I'm pretty bad at it, on account of having no arms. The main reason I'm here is to send out the shop orders. They rigged up a button I can just roll on. It's effing sweet. I'm basically a baby maker. Do you even know how babies are made? Yeah! When 100 people love each other <laughs> very much, 100 being the <coughs> upper limit, they mash together their DNA and pay at least half a million dollars for genetic sequencing. Why would you even ask me that question? Did you ever want to do anything else? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just wanted to be a part of a family. I send kids to their parents almost daily through that shoot. Sometimes I wish I was one of them. But who wants a half-ton child? No one. Oh, chin up, or uh, uh, dials up, whatever. Though. Honestly, just follow your dreams. Hmm, yeah. At least I still have a job to do. Can I ask you something else? Okay. How do you feel about the Dupa Genetics plan? Lukewarm, frankly. I like neither wrestling nor glam metal. However, I heard that their education policies are some of the greatest ever made. How do I murder you like the rest of the henchmen? Well, you see, you just... Uh, hey, wait a minute. What? You should leave! Laters. Okay, don't come back now. Alright, so if we stand on this, <clears throat> brings up out a prodigy child. Ugh, the box is in the way. Apparently I can't do anything about. Oh, there it goes. It's a sliding panel. Oh yeah, slidey. I think it's the gears connected to the conveyor belt. Would be a real shame if someone ate a wrench inside your works. Wait, that's not how that goes. Hello, Gears asking for destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get that thing off the ground. Maybe I do use the knife wrench. Knife spoon is a knife spoon, excuse me. Alright. What do we have? Anything? John 3000 told me. Yeah, we've already heard that. It was a right and they say crucial tradition of where the mini screws it. Hmm. Well, uh, you see, I get mad crazy stage fright <laughs> and anxiety if someone is watching me perform. 
do you mind leaving me alone for a bit? Yes, I do mind. I need to get them to go away somehow. Ahem, <clears throat> I'm literally right here. Alright, so do I just stand like near the wrench and get this guy to stand on top of it until he poops? Let's try that. I'll press the button a few times while I'm waiting. Alright, you're gonna walk away to poop, okay. Let's try this again. You're just mesh. Oh, that, that's a totally reasonable thing. Get the thing, water, hot, hot water heater to, to poop on the thing. Well, uh, the maintenance person is currently st I'm using it to its full potential. Hmm. Hey, I kind of need you to poop. Can you poop, please? I think maybe I get it on the bottom of the shoe. There you go. Who thought that shoes were such great liquid holders? Alright, so let me use this on this. It's burning, yeah, boy! Alright, so we got that. Take the wrench, toss it in there. I am. The destroyer of the gears. If only I existed in a steampunk world. I'd wreck shit up. <laughs> now just to turn the machine on. Hey, come stand on this. Alright, so what did that do? What did that do for me? Laters. All right, so how do I get the guy to stand there is the question. I'm pretty sure this is Olaf. I'm having a hard time figuring out if this is terrifying or super adorb. Adorbifying. <laughs> hey man, uh, wanna let me through cheap on the down low? This is a business paradigm. Next you'll be asking for complete games with in-game purchases. You crazy. Can you give me some puzzle hints? Give me your credit card number and I'll tell you. Ah, you sly sloth. I know what you're up to. Next you'll be asking for my passport. Next thing you know, I'll have a finance deal for a pony farm back in rural Texas. You scammers are all the same. What is this place? Hey man, I only get paid to deliver that first speech about the credit card thing. This is all pro bono. Just get me that credit card number, you broke ass bitch. Hey, I'm not an ass bitch. I'm mostly just broke. I'm going to go scam that uh, credit card number for you now. Yeah, whatever. Just get me the money. Alright, so I bet, I wonder, since it, the water heater follows me, if I step on this... And then immediately walk this direction. There we go. Got it. Cool. I really hope the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. They were a pretty nice person overall. <laughs> Mullet shampoo, mullet comb, mullet weekly, Water mullet lube, mullet Are insurance. Ready? <laughs> That's nice. Alright, let's try this again. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. Alright, <clears throat> let's do this. Scamming time! Oh god, I feel so terrible. The lesser evil.
Hello! Hello, Agnes. My name is Brian Smith, and I am from Krush National Antivirus and I- Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll give you my credit card number. But, miss, don't you want to hear what I need it for? Nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. 512331512231211. Bye. Well, that was uncomfortably easy with a sprinkling of ethical issues. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is making me feel worse. Level up. Not like this. Not like this. Alright, let's go get ourselves in some DLC. That's what I was looking for. Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is 5123315122311. Congratulations. You just purchased 400,000 clicks. Account balance now, minus $12 million. You will be in debt for approximately 10,000 years. Oh, man. I feel even worse. I guess she doesn't have much longer left, <laughs> especially within that messed up church. Door unlocked. That's a gross way to enter an office. Probably the worst host I've ever encountered. Didn't even clean up his place. What a mess. No welcoming snacksies? I'm going to write the worst review online. People will think twice before saving the world here. Might as well go look around while I wait. I never knew Kupu's made chunder. For those days, you just don't want to vomit. Keep <laughs> one in the cupboard handy. This one's a bit beat up, though. Mouse generator. Cat shit. Dado. Hey, it's one of those potato batteries. They ban these in Krush. Using potatoes for anything other than food and vodka is a serious offense. I better not mess up anything just yet. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me. Alright, we got a CD. Got a frame. Seeing what is available here. Mr. U. Battery. Frame of Kiss. Security monitors. He really did love that Klaus guy. Klaus, I think you are the coolest. I made this mix CD for you. It's full of disco hits. I know you love. Also a bit of glam metal. I know you're not a huge fan, but I love it. Anyway, since you're my dad, technically, you want to go play some catch? Maybe something closer to your Swedish customs? Go have a meal at Ikea? Some, wrapping and pill some raping and pillaging? Can I take this? Yeah, already he wants to kill me. Probably be extra mad if I messed with his mix CD. Oh, nice. It's a head sculpture of Mr. U. In 2021, they tried to reboot the A team again. The real Mr. T cost too much, so they just cloned him. Hello, Mr. U head sculpture. Part of me really wants to put my tongue on it. It took me three weeks to stop licking a 9 volt battery last time. I better not. I better not mess up anything. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me. Hello big battery. I think this is Klaus. Not going to lie, that stash alone makes me wish I could meet him. The whole making me thing is secondary. Hello, oil painting of my biological father. <laughs> what the hell? Our little savior. Hey, that's him. What the? All right. Uh, I guess we'll look at this. I think this is what the telepathic cats meant when they said they left a mark. I guess that's what happens when you don't have any opposable thumbs. At least it is good for the soil. Alright, we talked to the mouse generator. Hello, total eject mouse. Nope. Alright. Oh, jeez. That mouse is super jacked. Do you need any lifting tips, brah? 
Alright, let's go look at the security monitors. 